from rulers of the earth to prisoners made to be tortured for all eternity. Some faced death while others were slaves, leading us to the story of a titan called Atlas. Many of us are familiar with the titan holding the sky up upon his shoulders, cursed by Zeus in the world gods versus titans. But who is Atlas? What led to this event? Let's get into it. Atlas is a son of the titan Lapidus and a sea nymph Asia, making him one of three brothers to Prometheus, Epimetheus, and Menetius. It is said he fathered many children as well. During Titan Marche, Atlas and Menetius chose the titans, while Prometheus and Epimetheus chose the gods. Atlas was said to become the leader of the rebellion, and this would lead to his doom condemning him to the western side of the earth to separate the sky and earth for eternity. There is a debate on whether Atlas holds the heavens or he holds the pillars that separate the earth and heavens. Many sailors would look upon the sky while navigating. They believed Atlas was guiding them since he turned the sky and rotated the stars. He was only visited by two gods the whole time he was outcasted, mostly because no gods knew where Atlas ended up. Hercules was the first, tasked with bringing Eurythius golden apples from Atlas' daughter, Hesperidon. Hercules told Atlas that he would switch in places so he could retrieve the apples himself from his daughter. Atlas agreed, but had a plan to forget all about Hercules and his old job and deliver the apples to Eurythius himself. Hercules, being smart, wasn't going to fall for any tricks and outsmarted the gullible titan. The second and final hero to ever see Atlas alive was Perseus. Perseus was just passing by the titan and asked for hospitality, but Atlas, not wanting to fall for any tricks, denied him, and so Perseus pulled out Medusa's head and showed it to the titan. Only taking a glance, Atlas was free forever, turning into a massive mountain. Atlas would no longer bear the weight of the sky and heavens.